Hi guys, in this episode of Red Decay, I am really excited to once again be reacting to a song and a music video by one of the solo members of Wannawe, that being Giyuk, with his new song, Scratch. Now, last time I reacted to Giyuk was with his solo debut song, I believe, called Time Machine. I really, really enjoyed that song, which... I'm partially surprised by it because, I mean, I didn't know what he was gonna do for his solo stuff. Like, maybe he would've gone for something completely different compared to what he does in Wannawe, you know? But no, he pretty much did Wannawe music just on his own, so... That's kind of what I'm expecting that this one is gonna be like as well. But I am slightly worried that I'm not gonna like this as much as Time Machine, because that one was a really, really, really good of, of a song, and I really really listen to it quite a lot. It's one of the, my most listened to songs this year, if I gotta be honest. But, yeah. Um, there's only one way to find out how much I'm gonna enjoy this song, that is by getting into it. But before we do, as usual, I wanna quickly remind you that I'd really appreciate it if you guys could help me out with my transition by donating to my Patreon, my coffee account, or my PayPal, because for those of you who didn't know, I am trans, and by doing so, you also get access to the ability to demand me to do K-pop reactions, be it to a specific music video, a specific album, or potentially even a whole artist discography. Um, if you don't want to pay money for that though, uh, you can also just suggest stuff and recommend stuff in the comments down below, but the only sure way to make me react to something is by going through my Patreon and Coffee account, because those things in the comments, like I say, are just suggestions and I might add them to my schedule, I might end up reacting to them eventually, but I might not. It's ultimately gonna be up to me. But yeah, I know you don't care about that, so without further ado, let's get into what you're actually here for, which is my reaction to Giyuk Scratch. So without further ado, let's get into it in 3, 2, 1. Is that straight up a skirt that he's wearing? Hell yeah. Okay, I think this is gonna be a banger. Oh hell yeah, this is gonna be a banger. It's gonna be more emotional than the last one, that's for sure. Holy shit! Okay, I was worried for nothing, man. This is pretty good already. Okay, I was worried for nothing. I really like the instrumental of this one. I think I still kind of like Time Machine a little more. But this is not far behind, man. Not at all. He's really good, man. What the fuck? Honestly, he's kind of debatably better than Wannawe. Holy shit, man. This instrumental is amazing! Like, the instrumental is better than Time Machine. 
I'm gonna say this. And that is a pretty fucking good instrumental. Dude, this song is fire! I love this! What the fuck? Hell yeah! This is awesome! Dude, I, I, I'm so blown away. This is amazing. This is really good. What the hell? I did not expect that this was going to be this good. I guess I was foolish to not expect that, but that's how I felt about it, man. What the fuck? This is so good. Ultimately, I think it's about as good as fucking Time Machine. I don't think there's a any difference in terms of its quality. They're different songs. Oh, we're definitely listening to this one a second time. I can tell you that much. Oh my god. My face kind of hurts from smiling so much about this song, man. I was worried. I was definitely worried that this was not gonna... It was gonna pale by comparison to his previous song because I feel like that's kind of the case for Wannawee. Like, I think they're pretty good, but sometimes they can be a little bit hit or miss with how much I actually like their title track, you know? Because they don't do just like this kind of like energetic, like emo guitar heavy shit. They also do some ballad -y kind of stuff, which I don't really care about, I'm gonna be honest. It's not bad, but it, I just don't care about it. It's not my style of music that I listen to, and especially their take on it is not particularly interesting to me. Um, but when it comes to his solo stuff, I guess, he's more consistent. I can <laughs> tell you that. Because this is just as good as his debut song, man. And I'm surprised that it's so soon since his debut that he's doing this. I mean, maybe it's just soon for me because... I might have taken a while from when this music video of his debut song Time Machine was released to when I react to it. There might have been a long period of time. And similarly, there's actually not that long of a period of time from when this music video was released to when I react to it. I'm reacting to it on 21st of November 2023 and it was released on 6th of November. So it's not that much time. It's like 10 days. But yeah, I really, really like it. It's... I mean, I don't know, I definitely like the more straightforward, like, guitar-heavy rock sound of Time Machine more on the first listen. Um, but I really like how complex audially this song is, because there's a lot of different instrumentals and instruments in this song that I really, really like the sound of, that really makes it come together in a really, really fun way. And it's, what, similarly to that one, very energetic and very powerful and very emo and I really really like it so yeah I think I already know what I'm gonna rate this song but we are still gonna get into it a second time before I decide on, decide on my final opinion so without further ado let's get into it again in three two one I really like his blue highlights as well. I really like the blue color coloring of this music video. It's my favorite color, so I appreciate it. Thank you. 
I love the sad twin uh, that this song has. It's really cool. Dude, I love how ham they are going on the instrumentals. <laughs> Oh man, this is such a breathtaking song, I gotta say. Okay, so that was Giyuk Scratch, I guess. Really, really fun, emotional, energetic, crazy song. I really, really like it. It's really good. It's, I think, maybe just tiny, tiny little worse than a uh, time machine. But I, I don't know. I don't know, man. This just might be how I'm feeling right now. Like, the worst I can give this song is 9.6 out of 10. And what I am gonna give this song is a 10 out of 10. And I'm pretty sure that's what I gave Time Machine, so they're about the same in terms of their quality. They're just very different vibes of the two songs other than the very powerful instrumental breakdown, which is fucking awesome. I love it. Um, but yeah, I like it. I like that it's different, but it's still like very much his style and the 1OE style. I really, really like that. <sighs> yeah. I'm curious, is there any B-sides? Like, did his debut come with any B-sides? Does this have any B-sides? Because I'm definitely curious to check out some B-sides, man. 
um, uh, to see if there's any other really, really amazing songs like this one. Probably not. The, he, he would probably try to do something a little different in the B-sides because that's the case for one of you usually. But yeah, I, I would be curious to find that out anyway. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed this song. I'm really curious, what did you guys think about it? So comment those down below and let's have a discussion about this. And also before we end this video, I just want to give a huge shout out to my currently two patrons on Patreon, Deadpool and Corby Dead. Thank you guys for your support, I really appreciate it, it really means a lot to me, you have decided to support me, you have continued to support me in such a long time, I hope you continue to enjoy my content and continue to support me going forward. Thank you very much. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give a like and subscribe, also check out the link in the description to my Wattpad, where I post my stories, because in addition to doing all these videos on my channel, I'm also a writer. And if you don't enjoy my stories or simply enjoy my videos, you can head over to my Patreon, my Coffee account, or my PayPal, where you can pledge support and help get the channel going, have support me so I can keep writing the stories you enjoy. But if you don't want to do any of that, that's completely fine. You can seek help me out in other ways like liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and especially sharing this video with somebody who you think might enjoy it. And I think it's pretty much it for this video, so hopefully I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye!